Night Vaping here with my first official Nickwood review. I'm going to start doing more of these as I dig up some time here and there because I definitely have a lot of Nickwoods and I've got opinions and I don't mind sharing them and hopefully I can either lead you to some flavors that you'll like or steer you away from some that might be a bit of a risk for you. Today I am reviewing some Nickwoods from DFW Vapor. I've ordered a lot of Nickwoods from them in the past and really enjoyed them. I thought I would try three of the four of the newer flavors that they've come out with. And they all vape about the same. They're all, I believe, a 70-30 PG-VG mix, 18 milligrams. And they all produce good vapor, good throat hit. They're all satisfying vapes. First up is Chocolate Fudge Brownie. Now, I will admit I'm not a huge fan of most of the chocolates that I've tried so far. They all come across as kind of fakey. This one, unfortunately, is no exception to that in the chocolate department. Now, on the fudge brownie side of it, there's definitely sort of a, a bready taste to this that I like. It makes it a little fuller than it might be otherwise. Uh, at the same time, it doesn't really quite satisfy that want for a chocolate. I kind of think of a chocolate, a good chocolate vape, would be something like uh, inhaling from a cup of hot cocoa. And I really haven't found anything that matches to that yet. So I'm not necessarily dinging DFW on not quite hitting that flavor. No one has done that for me yet. As far as the fudge brownie part though, that adds an interesting uh, characteristic to it. So if you're in the search for a good chocolate for yourself, you might want to give this one a try. Peaches and cream. That's called peaches and cream. So you expect two things peaches and cream. There's something more to this. It really kind of threw me off. It was a very bright sort of spicy taste to it. I thought maybe it was just me. I really was not sure what was going on and I started looking up some recipes and discovered, I think, what I'm tasting in this. It's cinnamon and clove. It's like a spiced peach cobbler sort of without the cobbler component in the taste a creamy one instead. So if they called this spiced peaches and cream, this would be dead on. They called it peaches and cream. So that spicy component really, really throws it off. It's a good vape. It's what I demonstrated right here. I like it, but I have to ding it some for not being the flavor that it advertises itself as. Cinnabon. I've been on the search for a really good Cinnabon ever since the first bottle I got. The first bottle I got was from a company called High Caliber, and it must have been a magic bottle of cinnamon bun liquid. It had the cinnamon, it had the cream cheese frosting, I could taste the bun part of it. It was just an absolutely wonderful experience. It was really one of the things that, that hooked me on vaping and got me off of uh, smoking. I have not been able to match that yet. I've gotten several bottles of the same brand. None of them have matched the flavor of that first bottle. That was Rose, by the, Rose, by the way. Maybe I'll show her to you later. I haven't been able to find anything to match that original cinnamon bun. A good cinnamon bun to me is like a sultry woman that will come up and kiss you full on the lips and whisper hot, breathy, indecent things in your ear. This one from DFW Vapor is like most of the other ones I've tried. It's kind of like your sort of hot second or third cousin that you might have noticed about the time that you realized the girls were different. Uh, it's, it's close. It's close. This cinnamon bun has a little bit of a citrusy note to it. And I'm not quite sure where that comes from. That's the thing, the only thing I can really ding it for. It's not as strong a cinnamon flavor as I would like, but I can kind of deal with that. Uh, it's got just a hint of the frosting kind of flavor to it, but it's that bright citrusy note that I really can't identify that in my mind puts this down around maybe fourth or fifth down from my magic bottle of cinnamon 
bun Nickwood that I had earlier. Werther's Original. Now it takes brass to come out and call your Nickwood Werther's Original. A Werther's Original is like God's candy. It's the best. It's creamy, it's caramely, it's butterscotchy, it's got a, a nutty note to it, sort of like a light praline. It fills the mouth. It's just extremely tasty. You're going to call your Nickwood Werther's Originals. You better have it spot on. I'm sorry guys. Not quite. It does have a little bit of a creamy note to it. It's definitely got a bit of the caramely scotchy to it and to its credit it probably has the least fake caramel toffee butterscotch type of flavor that I have had yet. Doesn't quite fill the mouth like I'd hoped but what really throws it off is that uh, sort of praline that's in this is darker, more complex, almost like a roasted praline and I really want to love this. As it is, I like it as a vape. It's just not quite up to its name. And all of these, like I said, are really satisfying vapes and not bad flavors. None of these four, unfortunately, quite nail it. The closest one would be this peaches and cream, if only they had called it spiced peaches and cream. Now, I will say this. I've ordered a lot of Nickwoods from DFW Vapor, and I've got several of them that I just love. Their bacon, surprisingly enough, is awesome. I nearly cried when I had DFW bacon. It was an emotional experience. Their Mountain Dew, for example, was incredible. And I've got a few other flavors that I'm going to dig up and review at some point down the line. So with respect to really nailing the flavors on these particular four, I'm a little disappointed. I will say this. I am of the opinion that unless I am told otherwise, that when I get a Nickwood, it should be ready to vape with. I should not have to let it sit for a while. Maybe this is what these need. So in a couple of weeks, I will definitely be trying these again very specifically to see if letting them steep amongst themselves improves the flavor. And if it does, I will certainly let you know. On that note, my first Nickwood review, I would have to... I don't really have a grading scale. I'm sorry, I didn't think about that before I started. I will give them like a middle thumb because they are good vapes. Uh, none of these disappoints as a vape, assuming that you're not expecting that exact match. Uh, definitely they lose a little bit from a thumbs up by not quite nailing it and just by nature of their being generally good they don't quite get a thumbs down. I know that DFW Vapor has some really good Nickwits out there. That's why I held them to a high standard. That's why I find these particular Nickwits at this time wanting. And stand by, I should have some more Nickwood reviews coming in the near future. Take care, folks.